Hello, my name is Mr. Ahmed and I'm here today to talk to you about the upcoming assessments in year 10. As you can see there in the bottom left, we have split our GCSEs into two year groups. In English, we have two GCSEs. We have the English Literature and we have the English Language. And because your child is in year 10, we will be focusing on the, the English Literature in their upcoming DP2. In particular, we're going to be looking at an inspector course. Just to give you a bit of a wider overview of how this contributes to the GCSE, the inspector proposals is part of the paper two of English literature. It involves one 30 mark question and four marks for SPAG, SPAG mean, spelling, punctuation and grammar. With your assessment, in the actual GCSE, they will be given two hours and 15 minutes, but with us at school for their DP2, they will be most likely given about 45 minutes to answer this question. Now last time for DP1, we, had, we looked at Romeo and Juliet, which was our Shakespearean text. This time we're going to be looking at an Inspector Calls, which is our modern prose, or rather our modern text. The other significant change from DP1 is that with DP1, students were given an extract to focus on. With DP2, there is no extract. Instead, students will be given a choice between two essay questions that they must answer in the time conditions. So here on the left is an example of the kind of question that has been given in the past by the GCSEs. This is from June 2017. So the first question asks how does Priestley present Mrs. Beerling as an unlikable character? Or students can answer the second questions, which asks how does Priestley use the character of the inspector to suggest ways that society could be improved? Now if you look to your right, we have the assessment objective. Now these are identical to how they were at DP1. So in the exact same way for Romeo and Juliet, for Christmas Carol, for all the texts that your child has studied, it is important that students maintain a critical style and give their own response. It is important that they include textual references. Now for this question it's harder than previously because of course students do not have an extract so it's very important, it's very crucial that they take the time as they're preparing for these assessments to go revise them and make sure that they have quotations for each and every single one of the characters or the themes. And then as we move down it's important that they can analyse the language form and structure used in those quotations and that they can show the, the understanding of the relationships between the text and the context in which it was written. Okay, that AO4 just links to the SPAG marks, so it's making sure that your spelling, punctuation and grammar is quite accurate. Students have been preparing for their DP2 over the past half term and in the lead up to the assessments themselves as they've been covering in a spectacles. An example there on the right is a screenshot from one of the lessons. As you remember from DP1, all of our lessons are taught revolving around a big question. So in this case, this lesson asks you about the importance of one of the key characters in spectacles. And for each key question, we have a big question knowledge note. So there on the side, we have all the key information about Inspector Cool, the key vocabulary, the key context and the key quotations. Now it is vital that as students are preparing for these assessments, they go back and they look over and they revise the things that they've covered in lesson and the knowledge notes they have been provided. Just to remind you what the assessment will actually look like, the assessment will contain three parts. There will be a blank knowledge notes that students will be expected to fill based on the exam question. There will be an annotation task where they will be given, in this case, the two questions. They will obviously tick the question that they are choosing and then annotate around it. This could be key quotations, what they want to say, and any key ideas or relevant context that they can include. And then they have the extended writing themselves. So that is where, once they have made their decision, they will spend around about 45 minutes answering their inspector calls questions. Now there's lots of places that students can begin to look where it comes to their revision. All the knowledge notes and all the lesson content that they've covered so far at school will be available on team. There's also as well they can take their exercise books at home to revise in preparation for these assessments. But there's also revision guides available via parent pay if you wish to purchase them. All you need to do is purchase them, send your uh, child into school, have them show their English teacher a copy of the receipt and they, these can be provided to them. Other places to look as well is YouTube and BBC Bite Size. Here on the screen here I've uh, included a hyperlink and a screenshot from a YouTube page titled First Rate Tutors. Here they have um, 
a breakdown in their playlist of all the key texts and inspector calls is boxed around there where it has model essays, explanations of characters and walkthroughs of potential exam questions as well. So this is somewhere you might want to direct your child when it comes to preparing for their DP2. BBC Bite Size is excellent as well because it provides video resources and short quizzes in order to test their knowledge. To conclude, I'd just like to wish the students all the best for their upcoming assessments. A gentle reminder that the assessment fortnight begins on the 19th of June and timetable should be out soon. If you have any further questions, please, please feel free to contact your English teacher via Teams or you have the email address of Miss Beasley, the head of English there, and myself, Mr Ahmed, just below her. Thank you and have a nice evening.